So I click the pan knob, I see this other option, and I'm like, holy shit, I have been doing this wrong for years. I've got such an important tip for you because this pan knob is not doing what you think it's doing. And this could be hurting the quality of your mixes just like it did for my own. Let me show you what I mean. So we've been under the assumption that this pan knob allows us to move our sound left or right, but that's not really what's going on here. So pay close attention to this example. Currently you hear a synth and a drum loop. You might also notice that the synth is already on the left side and the drum loop is on the right side. Now, if I go to pan this sound to the left or right, what is going to happen? Well, my whole sound should move left or right, correct? Let's see if that's the case. Wait a second. When I moved it to the left, the drums disappeared. When I moved it to the right, the synth disappeared. It didn't move my entire sound. Do you see what's going on here? It's just manipulating the volume between the left and right ear but it's not physically moving the left and right ear to the opposite side. So why would this be a problem? Well, imagine if you have stereo sounds in your mix, like drums, synths, or pianos, which you do, you probably have lots of them in your mix. And let's say you wanna move those around to the left or right. You want a stereo sound on the left, a stereo sound on the right. This isn't doing that. Let me show you this Nexus piano, and the first thing you're gonna notice immediately, it sounds stereo. And for a quick reference point, I'm just gonna flip it into mono so you can hear. Okay, so clearly it was nice and wide. And if you actually listen, it's favoring the right channel slightly. But what happens if I want my piano to be on the left side of the mix? I don't want it to be on the right side. Well, let's move it to the left and see what happens. Okay, this sounds way worse when I move the piano to the left using this parameter. I just lost a ton of quality because most of that volume was in the right channel. And now by moving to the left, I basically just lost the right channel. Is this starting to make sense? Because I do want to show you the solution of how to actually pan stereo sounds and move them left and right. Before I do though, hit the like if this is something you were doing wrong. And if you have the courage to admit it, drop a comment and let me know. Okay, for Ableton, I'm going to right click this pan box and this gives me an option to choose split stereo pan. This now changes the way things look. You're going to immediately notice I have two boxes that I can control. There's a left channel and a right channel. And this allows me to move the left channel anywhere in the stereo field. It also allows me to move the right channel anywhere in the stereo field. So all of a sudden I have full control over where both the left and right channel sit rather than just controlling the volume of each. So let me show you the same example with the piano here and I'm going to move the right channel to the left side. And that's a big difference from where we were at before. Now, it's gonna be the same in Logic Pro. All you need to do is right click the pan knob and choose stereo pan. For FL Studio, it's a little bit different. The channel pan is a balance parameter, the one that does the volume between the left and right ear. If you want a stereo pan, you're going to use the mixer pan. Understanding this difference between the two, the balance and stereo pan, is important because you see there's no one way to do this. The correct way is going to be based on your mix your sound, and that's production in general. Look, you're not going to luck into quality records time and time again. And if you're still struggling to find that quality in your productions, I got you covered. Tap the video on screen right now, and I'm going to meet you in the next one where we're going to continue this conversation with something else you need to know.